I wonder how much of the inspirational motivation for Riyad Mahrez was having Mark Schwartzer come out on the Two Reds podcast <laughs> and saying that he was always the player late to training at uh, Leicester training as well. You could see he had a, a point to prove. Pity you didn't score. You just put that out actually on there just saying, tell us the player that was always the late player too. And I typed in Mark Viduka. He was exactly the same. Viduka lived close to the training ground. He was just a lazy, lazy man. Um, the last man in and the first one to leave. Didn't matter though, did it? No, it didn't because he took my position. <laughs> <laughs> did he used to turn up in, in like jeans and stuff and jump over the fence? Yeah, that was the best ever. We had, we'd had, a, had a game on a Saturday and we had a cool down session on the Sunday morning. All the lads are changed. They're in there. We're chatting about what we did last night when we'd had a few drinks, celebrating the victory. We're coming for a cool down. O'Leary loved the boys having a chat. We're all in the training park and then all of a sudden, uh, here it comes. Vadux in his Mercedes pulls up right next to the fence. Doesn't even have to go and get changed into his Leeds kit, by the way. Jeans and a shirt on, hops the fence, does two laps with the boys. See you later boys I'm off and the manager let him do it and we're like is he taking the piss or what how does he get away with it he's the big man he can do what he wants yep